yo yo what is going on everyone it's tk and welcome back to the channel on today's video we're just gonna say goodbye to the cookie and the event spell that was super super broken and let's just see these last few attacks just like we did with the lava loon troops and of course all those halloween event troops we're gonna say goodbye to cookie all right we are here and one thing a lot of people kind of didn't realize is that guys in this event the cookie was overpowered that's true it's like you know one shotting everything but the main thing about this event that was overpowered was that spell the bag of frostmite spell and this spell literally made any army even better one of my friends was using super dragons and he took this spell and it was just out of this world and i think this was the most broken event we had in history of clash of clans so not the royal ghost not those lava loon troops is this was just another level of getting annoyed because any base would get tripled unless the attacker is really bad and there was just some few bases just like this one that i put on youtube and you know people were getting those one stars and two stars at the beginning but then later on because everyone run the base there's different ways to hit it so you try different ways and you find the best and perfect way to absolutely demolish the base with more you know swag stuff now one thing about supercell is that i realized they are liking these type of events now we might have you know more events like this in future and maybe even close future with the chinese new year that is coming very very soon on the next season i'm not sure if they're gonna do an event but they seem like they like it and they like to bring broken stuff into the game now what about that is really annoying is that personally i don't think these events and these troops spells they should not be in legends not all literally not a single player who is in legends should be able to use this stuff because it messes up the competition now of course for other players casuals the ones that are lower in legends or the ones that are in legends and they want to use the troop you can always drop lower and get you know of course the troops unlocked and then use them in lower leagues where nothing really matters they still have good bases in titan and champions league but you know in high legends there's just no point of bringing these troops which they're gonna absolutely just mess the game up one more thing is that sometimes you know um people like to attack with this stuff i understand that they want to maybe try it so they could do that maybe on another game mode or another league that they could add to the game now i don't want to sit here and give them ideas but you know we're just going to look at this replay as well you can see they had double rage the rage the rage towers were actually placed super good but one thing about this style of bases is that if you go from the opposite side guys you're simply not going to make it to the town hall just because of the way it's designed because of the way it could have a lot of bombs so what i'm doing on this base a little bit different is that you know i'm just dropping these cookie troops like this to go for the eagle so we don't have to go for the eagle later like start into the eagle this is a nice way to take out champion and the eagle together i used the flame flinger on these you know um few attacks which i think it was a really good thing and flame flinger did come in as a broken um siege machine probably stronger than all of them not maybe the most used but it's very strong and then of course we're gonna go in with the normal approach guys i mean it was insane how good every like base could have been and then get absolutely wrecked with this you know um plannings or with these troops just because you couldn't defend it you mess it up the town hall 16 a lot and i don't know why supercell keeps bringing the events exactly when they drop a new town hall like the player base like the the way that everyone attacks it's like you don't get the idea of what is in the game you don't get the idea of how hard the game is yet you know people upgrade and it's just a bit annoying for personally for me as i cannot test myself on a max town or 16 and see okay i have you know these troops these troops these troops can i get the three star that's why personally i brought literally every single day i brought a different strategy on youtube so if you are new here and watching this video guys literally if you click on the channel and go to the previous videos every single video is going to be on a strategy that you could probably like and use 
on today or tomorrow or the day after and kept on going because those strategies are the ones that will be used a lot like super bowlers like electro titans root riders on zap or queen charge skeleton lolos zap lolos queen charge lolos a lot of strategies that i've done and it's basically coming into the game more and more after this event of course now there was some few bases that was defending really good for a lot of people which in this case is this one personally and for me it didn't defend well when i was running it and this was back when itsu was running this base as well like literally two weeks ago or something or one week ago but this base was just designed in a way that kind of makes the attackers go from the opposite side and they wouldn't make it to the town hall guys and if even the queen made it to the monolith she wouldn't be able to reach the town hall so there was a few you know one stars going around with this base on a lot of the players even on defense or offense so i'm saying the only way the bases could have defend in this meta was the attacker being really bad or being really like there could be some mistakes but in general when you can go from a side of a base and absolutely demolish everything that is going on around why would you go from opposite side because Back when you know this strategy first came out, everyone was going from opposite sides, so that getting defenses was easier unless and until this method of going into the box spaces came out. So people went from the you know sides of the base and they were like, hold on, it's actually working pretty much better than going from the opposite side because you can simply swag stuff, like you don't need all your troops, and that is insane having four heroes alive. On a certain base that it was getting a lot and a lot of one stars and this base is getting crushed right now i'm not here to sit and tell you what base is getting what but there was some weary weird bases that i've seen and it's this one and what is this guys like come on man like they kind of wanted to make it so you wouldn't be able to snipe the town hall but i forgot that flame flinger exists in the game so you can literally flame flinger one of the spell towers which of course the obvious one is the invisibility so it would go off and then flame flinger would go to the sweeper so i'm telling you like there was some really weird bases that was in fact funny in high legend so that's why i was like hold on why are people running these type of bases maybe they get a chance of defending but once you actually copy it and run it you'll be like okay we just got 320 minus and that is insane but hopefully we won't get anything similar to this spell or to this troop because guys i'm telling you if we do get it there's going to be a lot of hate towards supercell just because i know that they're already getting a lot of likes because of these events a lot of people like them guys i don't know if you are one of them but a lot of people live and love these events because they get a chance of tripling very easy with a spam army they come back from work you know they get on the game they spam their troops and they get triples they get the rewards let's you know have some fun with the clan mates do some challenges you know build a few base even maybe trap some bases but i don't know if they do that but in general everyone loving this except the one percent that are in legends league the pros that are in legends league and trying to you know just make a living out of this stuff you know because uh yeah man in clash of clans you can indeed make you know money from the game of legends league you can obviously see that video that i put later of course in the video i'm gonna put it on the end so you can watch that but yeah man this base is getting absolutely crushed with five bag of frostmites and the swag champion so i'm telling you there was some weird bases but no base could actually defend this strategy if you were good enough to take it down if you are you know regular player you would eventually take it down too because of the amount of times you would hit it as everyone was running nearly similar bases especially in high legends too but let's go ahead and just say goodbye to these cookie troops because guys personally i didn't like this event i'm not gonna lie because it missed the high rankings in legends league but i did manage to get a rank 13 so that's why i cannot be really mad about this event the defense on it was lucky so if you were one of those people that were getting good defense ggs to you man hopefully you hit a good rank on your account on last season and get this season start 
up really nicely and hopefully we can all end up this season very good i'm going to be using the super barge and bring you a super barge video from tomorrow so stay tuned on the channel link on your screen make sure you check out these videos because they might be interesting see you soon on the next one take care and peace